So I wanted to quickly show you how I do my version of simple beachy waves um, and this style can be done with or without heat. If I have time, I do it with no heat and just let it completely dry on its own. If I'm in a rush, then I use my hair dryer um, just a little bit at the roots mainly um, just to kind of help it dry a little bit. So this is about 80 to 90% dry. My hair is still a little bit damp. Just to let you guys know, my hair texture is pretty fine. I have um, a good bit of hair, but my actual hair texture is fine and it tends to get weighed down if I use a lot of heavy products. So I've kind of had to develop a way where I can use products in my hair, um, but it doesn't leave my hair crunchy or weighed down or anything. Um, so I had to start at the very beginning with how I wash my hair all the way to putting the products in and, and actually scrunching my hair for my hair to stay like this. Um, if you have you know, more texture and more curl to your hair, then you probably wouldn't need to go through all these steps. Um, but the first thing that I do is I go ahead, if I'm getting ready to take a shower, I'll go ahead and brush my hair out because I don't brush my hair again after I wash it. So I just make sure that I brush it out really well. So after I brush my hair out, then I go ahead and wash it with a shampoo that's meant to give your hair more volume. Um, what I have been using in the past is this L'Oreal Ever Pure um, sulfate free volume system. So it has the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, what I've been using recently because I just bought it is the big shampoo from Lush which gives me an amazing amount of volume and really cleans my hair but um, and you can see it has like salt big chunks of salt in there so it really you can really like scrub it into your scalp and it really clarifies your hair but this is something that you wouldn't want to use every day because it can really dry your hair out so I have to save this for you know once a week when I really want a lot of volume other times I use um, this shampoo in between. So after I wash my hair, I make sure I really work it into my scalp and everything. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll condition my hair, but I only, if I'm wearing my hair curly like this, I only really condition from here down. Um, and that's just because I don't want to have any flyaways, I don't want my hair to be damaged or really dried out. But if I put too much conditioner in my roots, my hair can get weighed down and then I'll lose all that volume. Um, this is the conditioner that I use most often and it's the, um, the conditioner that goes with the shampoo that I showed. So after I wash my hair, um, I get out of the shower, I don't towel dry my hair, I start putting my products in first um, while my hair is basically still dripping wet and I found this is the only way that I can get the products in there um, and get a good bit of product in there and not have my hair feeling way down or crunchy because you have the water in your hair and it kind of dilutes the product out. It kind of prevents you from over producting, I guess. Um, but I start with the Aussie Sprunch Spray and I go really light on all these products anyways because I kind of layer some together. And I'm not really sure why this combination of two texturizing, kind of scrunching sprays works for me, but this is the best combination so far that I've ever found. So I do the Aussie Sprunch and then this Beyond the Zone texturizing spray. This is from Sally Beauty. This is kind of my holy grail curly hair product. Um, I use this whether I'm doing this or I put this in my hair and I'll comb it through if I'm gonna curl my hair with a curling iron, but this is the only thing I've ever found that really makes my hair hold curl and hold it all day. Um, if I don't use something like this, my curls will fall out within a matter of hours. Um, but the thing with this is it's very, very, very sticky. So you have to go um, really light with this. And what I usually do is I'll spray some in my hands and then just kind of work it through my hair so it gets evenly dispersed. So I do those two products and then some kind of frizz preventer. The one that I just started using because I just bought it is this anti-frizz cream, but I use other things, just frizz serums. But I just use a tiny bit and I work that throughout the whole top layer of my hair just to kind of help combat frizz because I am kind of scrunching my hair and working my hair up so it's going to you know create some frizz. So this kind of helps with that. So then what I do is I just wrap my hair up in a towel, turban, and I'll just start getting ready and I'll do my makeup and whatever else I need to do um, and I'll save my hair for very last. So I just let it kind of hang out in the towel, it'll start drying out. Um, and then when I'm ready to finish styling it, I'll take it down, I'll kind of work through it with my fingers. Like I said, I don't brush it out again. If I brush it out, then it'll be too like slippery and it won't hold the waves as well. Um, so I just kind of brush it out and I will just let it dry. If, I, if I'm not in a rush, if I have a few hours to let it dry, I'll just let it dry, I'll go about my business, and then once it's about 
50 to 60 percent dry I come back and I put my hairspray in if I'm in a rush I'll take my hair dryer not with a diffuser or anything and just kind of blow dry my roots a little bit I don't really blow dry my ends very much I might go th through them one time just kind of scrunching and blow drying um, but I mainly just blow dry my roots and then um, as long as my roots are kind of dry and styled then I don't feel bad about leaving my ends to dry on their own um, either way once my hair is um, mostly dry you know like 50 to 60 percent dry then I'll take my hairspray and put it all over um, and then just give my hair another good scrunch and this also helps with flyaways and everything um, and it helps with frizz and I really like this one because it also gives you a nice bit of shine to your hair um, and since I didn't put a lot of conditioner up in my roots I really want to make sure my hair is still shiny so that's why I use this um, and then basically what I do is I just as my hair continues to dry I'll just go check in the mirror every so often give it a couple more scrunches if I find a spot that looks a little limp if I see a place that I feel like needs a little more wave um, I literally just will dampen my hands and just kind of scrunch that part and that water will kind of help reactivate all the products that are in there and give it a little bit more of a wave and I just continue that process until my hair is mostly dry um, and I'm pretty happy with it. If you've been at the pool or at the beach all day and you're supposed to be going out, um, this is basically how I wore my hair the whole time we were on vacation. When we went out to dinner, I, there was no way in heck I was going to straighten my hair or try and curl my hair um, with a curling iron when it was 100% humidity. So, Anyways, that's my take on this style. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any more questions, make sure you leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!